Once you finish installing your Scilab, you need to connect the plotter to the computer. On the back of your computer, you might have different ports. This one at the top is a parallel port. It has 25 holes on it, so it is a female port. At the bottom, you will see the serial ports. In this case, I have two serial ports with 9 pins each, but you might have one with 25 pins, so it's a male port. On the right side, you will see the USB ports. They are about half an inch in width. Those are the most common ports in new computers. If you need to connect to a serial port or a parallel port to an old router, and you don't have a parallel port or a serial port on your computer, then you need to use an adapter. The adapters connect the USB on the computer and the other end, if it's a serial port, to the serial port of your plotter. In this case, I have a 9 pin. If my plotter has 25 holes, then I need to use an adapter. This adapter connects from the 9 pins to the 25 pins directly to the plotter. So you need to use both. If you want to use just one cable, you can buy one cable that goes to the USB port on your computer to a 25 pins directly into the plotter. Make sure whatever cable you buy, it is compatible with Windows 64 bits if you have 64 bits in your operating system. It has to say on the package that it is compatible. Another option is to use a USB to a parallel port. This connect the USB to the computer and the parallel port goes to your plotter. Once you finish installing all this, then you go to File, Install, Current Devices, and you have to choose the driver for your plotter. Scilab provides a vast list of drivers here. I will go down to the Roland and I will select the PNC 1000. I click on Next and the driver is installed. The driver allows the program to communicate with your plotter. Then I go to Cut, Plotting Defaults. I click on Setup. I choose the Roland PNC 1000 and then I will click on Port. Here I have a list of all the ports available on my computer. And I have to select the one that belongs to the cable I'm using. In my case, I have a USB to serial port adapter. Normally those ports are at the top of the list. In this case, it appears as a COM6, and I can see here it says USB to serial bridge. I select that, I click on Apply, OK, and I'm ready to cut. If you have a USB to parallel port adapter, it will normally appear at the end of the list as a known printer USB 001 or 002 or 003 with a plus at the end. It might also say printer USB 001, 002, 003 plus. Try those ports, click on apply, click on OK, and then close, and you're ready to cut.